So we're at Tesoro Italian restaurant tonight for dinner and it's inside Moven Peak at Hobart and it's an Italian restaurant. So we're using our welcome drink with us today. So I ordered a Pesetra, Pesetra, an alcohol for a change, a sparkling for a change. And Hubby's just got himself a lemon lime and bitter. We'll see how the food goes. We'll see how the food is. We've been here two years ago and was quite happy with it. So we're going to try it again and see how it is this time around. All right, so our entrees and starters have arrived and we've actually ordered some oysters. So as much as we've already had some oysters today, we can't help but try some more. So these are oysters that we're trying and they're $6 each. So with Acor Plus, we actually get 50% off. So they look good and we'll see. And then we've got some salmon, curd sal salmon, which looks really nice. It looks like there's some fennel on it as well. And some salmon roe, which we love eating. And then we have the beef tartare, which also includes a parmesan crisp, which we've asked to put on the side because one of our children is allergic to dairy. So we've had that option and that looks quite yummy. It's got egg yolk, which is that yellow piece. It's quite interesting how they've done that, I think. So that looks quite yummy. And then this is the grilled prawns with a salad on it. But I can tell you those prawns smell divine. So I'm looking forward to how they taste too. So these are our starters. So I need to give them a go. I'm going to start off with the oysters, I think. All right, I'm looking forward to this. So the great news about this restaurant is we came here two years ago and to be honest with you, we got the same waiter and the same chef that came to serve us. So that really speaks a lot about how good a, a place is for people to still be for work. There's your oyster. Mm, let's see. Oh, it's like a little jelly. Mm. Like a jelly that goes with it. It's very light. It's a bit sweet. That's really yummy. That's really good. That was a good oyster. Mix up. I'm going to try my salmon. Just take a portion of it onto your plate. I'm going to have a little bit of everything. All right, we've got some salmon. A bit of everything. Citrus is good. Very nice. The fennel's crunchy. A bit sweet. A bit vinegary. I like it. Mm. But the prawns not so good. So it's been done. So crunchy. Look, they even made it so crispy. You should have to eat it. Yeah. It's crunchy. I love grilled prawns. You got some meat with it too. The prawn was a little bit firmer than I thought it would be, but it's meaty. All the legs are actually edible because it's so crispy. So it was 
anchovies that's on top, some egg yolk on the beef tartare. And they've got the crisps, so you can add that on. So the whole combination. All goes on here. Oops. Put everything a bit on everything. Hummus and crisps is not like crunchy crunchy. I think it would be okay to have left it out even. The beef tata is actually quite yummy. Quite nice actually, quite like that one. We look forward to see what things are going to be like. But you definitely need to come and have the oysters. All right, so we've got a sirloin here. It's a 300 gram sirloin and it comes with potatoes and veg. And we asked for medium rare, which it does look like it. So we're quite pleased with that. That looks very nice. It's always nice when it's already pre-cut as well, so it's easy to consume. So we have the pork sausage and pumpkin pizza. It's a wood fire pizza, so you definitely can see it nice and crispy. So we're looking forward to see, see how that tastes. We've actually got a pork sausage pasta and it's got breadcrumbs on top. So we did leave out the cheese and we'll see how that tastes very soon. And this is the prawn linguine, prawn spaghetti. So it comes with tomatoes and it's nice and light looking. I can see the prawns, so I'm looking forward to give that a try as well. So we'll see how it all goes very soon. All right, we're gonna try some steak. So as you can see, it was very nicely prepared by the chef. Mm. I can definitely taste the char. And being all rested as well. Soft enough. I try the spaghetti now with the bones and tomatoes as well, and this garlic. Let's give it a go. A bit of everything. So the pasta for the corn has a bit of chili in it. So there's a good hint of chili. Not too spicy, but spicy enough, I think. It's yummy. It's always good with garlic too. Okay. This is a new pasta for me. I haven't had this one before. This has got pork and mushroom. It tastes the pork sausage on this one. And the pasta, it tastes a little bit like the risotto, but a little bit more bounce to it because it's twirled. I think between the two pastas, I still like the prawn one. I think it's a little bit tastier. But I think if you added parmesan to it, 
will be fine. But because we have an allergy child, we have omitted the um, cheese on that one. Let's try pizza. So this pizza, I mean, the pumpkin makes it quite sweet. It feels like there's a bit of a white sauce even with the cheese. But it's a nice one, something different. Not too heavy in the sausage as well. The base is nice and thin. And there's some Spanish onions to it. Nice options if you go here. So we've just finished So tonight at Tesoro, it's our last night in Hobart. So we've just decided to come back and enjoy the dishes we enjoyed here the first time round. So we've got the salmon ceviche, it's got the salmon roe, it's got some fennel, which I really loved the crunch of, and that was quite yummy. So I'm looking forward to trying that again. We've got the beef tartare again, and it is actually with anchovies. I remember what it is today. Anchovies and egg yolk, and we had the parmesan crisp on the side because of an allergy. And we're going all out today. We've got nine oysters and they've got their beautiful jelly and extra condiments to make it yummy and tasty. I can't wait to go into the, dig into that. And we've got the grilled prawns as well. So it's got a fennel salad as well with some mint. And you can see it's actually got, it's quite crispy, roast grilled and on the base, it's got a little bit like a capsicum sauce spice to it. So it's quite yummy. So we're looking forward to our final dinner in Hobart tonight. And we're trying a little bit extra dishes that we haven't had to. So I'll be showing you that tonight too. So bon appetit. Obviously, oysters away. Mmm. Mmm. I added a little bit more vinegar to the oyster. Sorry? The vinegar, there's a little bit stronger vinegar tonight. And some red onion to it. There's only a red onion vinaigrette. A bit stronger today. Three oysters we're going for. We've had lots of oysters today. We've ordered three dozens. Mm. They're good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I was quick eating like three oysters. And I'm going to try the salmon ceviche. 
kept telling my husband I'm not hungry, but when the food comes, it all goes in my tummy. Salmon roll just pops in your mouth. It's a bit salty, but it's fun and it's yummy too. Just a little bubble that pops. The beef tartare again. With the anchovies, which I could not remove the word the other day. I think with beef tartar, I like it when the egg yolk is a bit bigger. So I can actually put that creamy yolk throughout the mix. A little bit more. I like grilled prawns, they're yummy. And I like a good fennel salad too. the crunchy chronics. Oh. All consumed. Right. Our mains have arrived. So tonight we have the eye fillet. We've decided to try that. So I fill it with roasted potatoes and the vegetable is actually like a lettuce. And the sauce actually has capers. It actually looks creamy, but it's actually not dairy. It's horseradish with anchovies. So it's a, another take on a sauce that you can use that's dairy free. So that's always nice to learn something different. And then we've got the fish today. So the fish of the day is a slightly different fish. I can't remember the name of it properly, but I like to try different fish. And then we had to reorder our prawn linguine, which has a bit of chili in it and cherry tomatoes. And this is the new favorite sausage pork um, pasta. And it's got breadcrumbs on that too. So that's dinner for tonight. And we will dig in and see how it all tastes. So it's a white fish that we're having tonight. Some roasted potato. Mm. Nice crispy skin. Always a favourite. It's very juicy the the fish actually. A finer texture. It's not a fish that I have recognised the name or the, or have, I don't think I've eaten it before. Mm. Mm. Potato is yummy. Roast potato, you can really taste that tasty potato flavour. I'm going to try the eye fillet. We had it medium rare and it was cooked quite perfectly. So they give you 200 grams of eye fillet. You can taste the char on the outside. And it's actually very soft. Very mm. good. I would definitely choose the eye fillet. Very nice. Very yummy. So this is our current favourite current favourite pasta. I haven't tried this actually in Sydney, so we haven't been to enough Italian restaurants obviously, but it's got mushrooms for it and it's got sausage. And bread sauce. 
because we have an allergy to dairy for one of my children. We haven't got parmesan on it, but I think if you add parmesan, it will enhance the taste even better. So I would recommend adding parmesan to it. we're having tonight was the corn linguine, oh, sorry, corn spaghetti. The taste is on the subtle side today. Last time I think it had a little bit more salt, but I think a pinch of salt extra or a bit more parmesan will make it perfect tonight. For dessert tonight, we're going to try the chocolate rocher hazelnut and chocolate mousse, vanilla mascarpone with chocolate crumble, and we're also going to try the cheesecake with some almond crumble, roasted pear, and white chocolate wafer. There is other options, but we're gonna leave that for another day. So our desserts have arrived, and the first one was the chocolate mousse. And as you can see, it's got, I think that's nice and crumbly. There is peanuts on this, or hazelnut. Actually, I think it's hazelnut, not peanuts. There was hazelnuts on this, so looking good. And then this is the cheesecake with the poached pear. So, again, nice and pretty, nice and simple, but quite elegant looking as well. And we're going to look forward to our dessert. So, even though when we started our meal, I had said to my husband, I'm not that hungry, but when food's in front of me, you got to eat. So, there's no holding back when there's something that looks delicious, is there? And we want to make sure if we want to try something we try to get it in so we don't go home and go oh wish I had tried that so here we go let's see how this one is I'll try with the cheesecake first mm. like a very thin wafer oh. Cheesecake is very creamy. It's not too sweet, actually. And then the caramel will make it balance it out for you. And the wafer is very... has a crunch, but then has a little bit of a chew at the end. Mm. And the nuts look like there's some sunflower seeds to it, too. So, a bit of oats, gives it a bit of a change in texture. We'll try it with the pear as well now. The pear's soft, it's a bit sweet. Complements it well with the cheesecake because the cheesecake really is that very subtle taste. It's not very sweet at all, so everything else enhances the taste of it. Now we're going for the chocolate mousse. So the mousse is nice and light and fluffy. Looks like it's some cream to it and we're just gonna grab some of the other crunchy bits too. Doesn't taste very heavy. The hazelnuts are very crunchy. The roasted hazelnut gives a good crunch and bite to it. Yeah, the mousse is very light. It's really nice actually. So, quite enjoy that. 
both of them are good choices if you're after a dessert. So that's our dinner tonight for at Tesoro in Oven Pit at our Hoover. I hope you enjoyed what I've shown you for the last two nights of our meal. And if you are in the area, by all means come in and give it a try. And if you are an ACOR Plus member like ourselves, you do get the privilege of 50% off our meal. So no drinks, but meals, you do get 50% off and that's always worth coming to give it a go. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.